The Space Explorations Technology Corps, or SpaceX, is a leading California-based aerospace manufacturing company. Just in the past years, this private company has achieved impressive feats, including being the first of its kind to successfully send astronauts into space. SpaceX currently builds and launches two rockets, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, a space capsule named Dragon for transporting private crew and cargo to the International Space Station, and Starlink, a constellation of satellites to provide global high-speed internet access. Perhaps its most intriguing project currently being worked on is Starship, a remarkable rocket and spacecraft system for carrying large payloads that it foresees using to ferry people to Mars. Throughout this video, we will let you know all the information that you need to know on how SpaceX has been able to achieve so much so soon. Squeeze every bit of value from our quality video and show support for our work by sticking around until the very end. It's always an amazing idea to tap that thumbs up icon to like this video, and also make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified of more of our informative videos as we upload them. That way you never have to miss a single amazing video. On that note, let's get right into the video. Rapid Starship Development No company moves quite as fast to production as SpaceX does, and this might be accredited to its chief engineer Elon Musk. In his words, if the schedule is long, it's wrong. If it's tight, it's right. If the design takes a long time to build, it's the wrong design. The company is working hard and fast at building its production line for Starships, not just a single ship. In fact, its target by year end is to be capable of building a Starship in a single week, and possibly even faster. To be able to accomplish this, the company has doubled the workforce at its factory in South Texas to more than 500 workers, which is a significant increase from its initial dozen or so on-site workers. It is also designing the factory to build a Starship every 72 hours. Aside from concern about effective production process, another reason for the drive for faster production is concern about the finances of the company. Money may run eventually run dry, and the factory hopes to go as fast as possible to make as much progress as it can towards achieving its goals before that happens. Unlimited funding Finance is a key part of executing any project, and this is no different for SpaceX. As a private company, SpaceX doesn't release reports of its finances, so we don't know its exact financial status and level of profitability. What we do know is that SpaceX was nearing bankruptcy and was in dire need of revenue in 2008. It has since been able to garner funding from different sources. At this point, it is possible that SpaceX has become profitable itself. However, we believe that SpaceX generates profit from commercial launches and redirects it into research and development. It privately funds its work on the development of Super Heavy and Starship through the revenue it generates from Falcon and Dragon missions. SpaceX is a company that has massive valuation and high investor credibility so its funding power might be considered realistically unlimited. This year, to fund the company's Starlink program, SpaceX has generated more than $1 billion from investors due to interest in the provision of global, high-speed internet services from space. SpaceX is optimistic that the launch of Starlink, future revenue from the business, can be used to fund Super Heavy, and SpaceX is also optimistic that after the launch of Starlink, future revenue from the business can be used to fund Super Heavy and Starship projects. Today, SpaceX generates revenue from a variety of customers, but it possibly would have gone bankrupt at about four years old without support from NASA. In 2008, it received a million dollar contract to fly cargo to ISS. Remarkably, SpaceX is one of the first companies to be funded by NASA, which has been a major sponsor of SpaceX and its projects. During the development process of the Falcon 9 rocket, NASA paid for roughly half the cost of the project. SpaceX currently generates a lot of funding from flying crew and cargo to the ISS as well as launching NASA's science spacecraft. It also flies payloads for the US Department of Defense, another taxpayer-funded entity. However, the US government still is minimally involved in the running and day-to-day -day maintenance of the Starship program, in spite of the relationship between NASA and SpaceX. Though there is much funding for SpaceX, the company doesn't consider itself above prudent spending, and this can be seen in its choice materials. Material Choice SpaceX has the goal of making reusable rockets with cost-effective material. Many modern rockets are made out of carbon fiber, titanium, or aluminium, and this was the initial plan for the Starship. However, in 2019, SpaceX made the decision to switch to using stainless steel as the primary material for its rocket structure. This isn't an entirely new concept, because the then popular design in the 1950s and 1960s era for older rockets like Atlas Cantor composed majorly of stainless steel skin. The choice of stainless steel over carbon fiber and other materials may seem unexpected, because it is heavier but it has several notable benefits. To start with, we can consider cozy and net effect. A 301 stainless steel rocket is actually the lightest possible reusable architecture. According to Musk, 
carbon fiber costs about $135 per kilogram. The construction process involves the use and waste of large amounts of this fiber, so it's easy to note how much financial drain this can cause. As a result, SpaceX would have to make use of simulations to test their designs. This is disadvantageous as it doesn't leave room to test for unknown variables. Meanwhile, stainless steel only costs $3 per kilogram. This means that a ton of stainless steel is 2% the cost of a ton of carbon fiber. This cheaper choice of material helps to save on cost and allows SpaceX to increase on their experimentation, data collection, and production more freely. Aside from cost effectiveness, it's also important to consider the material being used and if it will properly get the job done. Stainless steel is more durable and is noted to make the entire vehicle, including its heat shield, lighter than otherwise possible. Aside from this, rockets need to be made of material that can handle extremely high and extremely low temperatures during flight. Compared to other steels that get brittle or cryogenic or extremely low temperatures, 301 stainless steel only increases in strength, giving it an advantage for use in constructing a reusable ship. The use of stainless steel is also very time effective because as a result of its ability to withstand the higher temperatures, reaching 820 to 870 degrees Celsius compared to the usual 150 to 180 degrees Celsius that carbon fiber and aluminium can withstand. SpaceX doesn't have to endure the normal protocol of intensively using and testing heat tiles. Transportation-based cooling, which involves putting water or any cooling liquid between the two exterior stainless steel layers, might be used to keep Starship cool. Considering that Starship and Super Heavy will be loaded with 9 million pounds of cryogenic methane and liquid oxygen at liftoff, this is very important. All of this shows the careful and efficient material choice by SpaceX, which would significantly reduce construction cost and time. Rudimentary construction process. Unlike the usual protocol used by aerospace manufacturing companies, which involves heavy use of machinery in the construction process, SpaceX makes use of human power. Machines are known to help with getting things done faster and more easily. However, they can also complicate the production process. Aside from the actual work that needs to be done in building the rockets, engineers also have to invest time and resources into designing, purchasing, and maintaining the machines that will be used in construction. SpaceX simplifies this process by removing that factor. Within SpaceX, almost everything is done without the use of large machines. In fact, the only major machinery used at SpaceX is the cranes for moving and lifting components and rocket parts. The construction process basically involves the workers hand welding together a bunch of stainless steel rings and making a couple of flaps. Typically, rocket construction is carefully done within a highly protected and sanitary environment. This is the norm, but not at SpaceX. Leave it to SpaceX to do such important work in broad daylight and out in the open, come rain or shine. The rocket prototypes are left in the open. Considering that the factory is located somewhere near Boca Chica, which is a seaside area, the rocket prototypes endure exposure to severe weather, such as tropical storms and high winds. While this raises concerns about the safety and durability of these rockets, this process has also so far been effective in reducing the cost and time used in manufacturing, allowing SpaceX to hit their target of building starships much faster. Iterative Design It's so far obvious that SpaceX is comfortable with the testing limits and being unconventional. One of the biggest ways it's done this is by embracing iterative design processes. This means that SpaceX puts together the stages of each development process and gets everything done altogether as quickly as possible without segmenting the process. This is unusual because several companies would carry out their operations in bits in a bid to carefully get it done perfectly with minimal mistakes. SpaceX has no problem with making mistakes and their priority is not on getting it done perfectly first try. Instead, they radically execute any ideas that they have and test them. Within this company, every rocket made is individual and novel because they don't want to wait on the perfection of one to begin working on ideas for another. This radical approach of failing forward may be less careful and precise, but it is definitely helpful in crunching time by getting good ideas done in good time and getting the mistakes out of the way faster. Limited time. Moving fast is obviously a goal for SpaceX, and there is a reason for that. Simply put, time is of the essence when dealing with matters of space. Though there are some competition, Musk has voiced that his major concern is not just business or competitive advantage, but that there isn't enough time to get everything done. And when we refer to time, we mean his lifetime. At present, Musk is about 50 years old, and he would certainly love to see his project reach his goals. It took about two decades for SpaceX to get the first rocket to the International Space Station, and if things are not sped up, it might take more than a few decades to make more significant progress towards Mars. This is why SpaceX is so motivated to crunch time and get it done sooner. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there!